Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Mitchell. We're Badass Barbecue. We've been invited to go to Lynchburg in Tennessee and compete at the Jack Daniels World Championship. This trophy allows us, and this is our story. G'day, I'm Michael. This is Mitch. This is the Badass Barbecue story. My background is in the pub game. I'm executive chef uh, overseeing some of the biggest pub groups in New South Wales. Uh, ribs have always been on the menu, and for me, uh, working out how to cook authentic ribs is what got me into the smoking game. I work in PR. Uh, my grandfather had one of the first uh, barbecue school franchises in the country. Um, so barbecue has been in my family for a long time. I've always loved outdoor cooking, so a natural progression was to go from cooking at home to cooking on a team and competing against other people. Earlier on this year, we competed in four barbecue competitions in roughly five weeks. Uh, we managed to take uh, one of the biggest ones out uh, on the circuit, which is the uh, Yaks Barbecue Festival, sanctioned by the KCBS, which is the Kansas City Barbecue Society. This enabled us to uh, go into the draw to uh, compete at the Jack Daniels Invitational Barbecue World Championship competition in Lynchburg, Tennessee. We're so pumped to get over there. Uh, the, the, the sport is growing so much at the moment. Uh, we went to a comp just re recently in Port Macquarie and had a hundred teams. Um, and that we've seen that grow for the past two years where it started with 30, now it's 100. And, and, and it's just more comps have been sanctioned uh, every year after year. Uh, it's such an exciting time to be involved in the sport, uh, being some of the first blokes to do it. I think it's such a competitive circuit, but no one's so arrogant as to not share knowledge with each other because the sport's so new that everyone's still finding their feet. The judging system is, is extremely fair. A lot of people go to barbecue competitions I know good barbecue when I see it, but people are actually trained and accredited and do a course to actually uh, be invited to judge at an event. There are four categories that we have to turn in to be eligible for grand champion. First is beef brisket. Second is ribs, pork ribs only. Third is chicken and fourth is pork, pork shoulder. Hey guys, we're back. I'm Michael and Mitch from Banners. Um, one of the things we need when we go over to the Jack to compete is barbecue, obviously, and a few other bits and pieces. So we went down and had a look at barbecues galore. It was quite amazing to see how big the low and slow section was, wasn't it? Uh, it's taken up at least a quarter of the store. Uh, they had everything there from low range to mid range to high range smokers. Uh, we were lucky enough to speak with Joel, and here's what he had to say. We've got a Kamado Joe, which we'll be using over at the Jack. The guys have kindly organised one to be sent over. So, uh, mate, let's have a look at it. What, what does it do? Um, basically, smokes, it cooks. Uh, it's it's old school cooking, so basically on charcoal. How, how much charcoal would you use to, to fire one of these up for a 12 hour cook? About a third of the bag. How good is that Kamado? Man, I was surprised how well they are made. They're quite thick, like, you, you see <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that lugging around to a comp. Well, so lucky, heavy. Lucky we're not sending it to America. <laughs> <laughs> no baggage for us. Yeah. While Willie's having a snooze, I decided to wander around and grab some of the most important stuff that we need for the trip. Uh, Barbecue's will have a huge range now. The Ploughboy's Yardbird Rub is one of my favourite all-purpose rubs. They also now stock the Maverick uh, wireless thermometers, which we've been using for years and um, may need a brand new one to take over there, so we grabbed one of those as well, and along with some of their new smoking wood. It's amazing. Kudos to you, Barbecue's Raw. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys soon. Welcome back, Michael and Mitch from Badass. Um, we've got our barbecue sorted, been down and saw the guys at Barbecue Score, fantastic. Um, now we're off to get some meat. We went down and saw our good friend Peter down at Marcelleria, down at Bondi, and we came away with some great information. Yeah, look, the short rib is very much the money cut in terms of rib. That's got the most amount of edible meat on it, not so much bone in there, lots of fine marbling, so I definitely go for the short rib. After an awesome morning down at Bondi with Peter, we're on our way to Hudson's Meats to visit our good mate Colin. Here we've got a six week dry standard roast, grass fed black angus. Beautiful. One of the categories of the Jack for the international teams is a category called a taste of home. Now, we're from Australia, a lot of people said do lamb, do kangaroo. We're actually going to do beef short ribs, partially fed beef short ribs from Tasmania. They reckon it's some of the cleanest area in the world and, and the, the produce that comes out of that area is fantastic. Uh, we believe that is something that everyone's doing at home on their smokers. We've seen a lot on the forums and on, on the uh, Facebook groups and certainly at competitions. So we're going to give that a shot and see how we go. What's the difference between um, ribs at home and these ones, mate? Mate, these are bigger animals. Welcome to Lynchburg, Tennessee, home of Jack Daniels. 
We're bumped in, we're ready to rock and roll. Today's game day. We collect our meat, go to the team briefing, a beer on the hill to meet the teams, and we start competing tonight. How are you going, Wayne, all right? You're doing fine. I tell you, this is another great year for us at the Jack. I've got 21 international teams this year. Uh, we're excited about this, so it's another another banner year for our international uh, teams coming to abroad. Of the 21 teams here, we've got 17 different countries represented, and that's exciting for us. We bumped into Carolyn Wells. She's the founder of KCBS, as we know it today. Carolyn, how did it all come about? It was. Hey guys, Adam Roberts here. Welcome to the Barbecues Galore Low and Slow Masterclass Series for 2018. We're here at Barbecues Galore in Sydney with our lucky Masterclass winners from right across the state. Come with us as we share the fun and excitement of cooking over fire and as I show these lucky folks how they can cook low and slow like a pro.